And the reason I did these gels is I was using them every single long run and I was loving them. They're truly amazing. They don't hurt my stomach. <laughs> Bike ride complete, but I think there's something outside waiting for us. here we got a big 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 package i wonder what it is so the package is if you remember from last saturday my first day of training i ordered something and it was a whole bunch of running gels for the black friday dough that sis had online and it's a lot of product this would probably be like 180 dollars but got an amazing deal of 40 percent off and i got about like 50 gels. So first, going with the electrolyte gels. I I, I want an electrolyte gel because I don't have a. I'm not like a pro athlete who can take in special fluids that have sodium and electrolytes in it, and I don't want to carry salt tabs. So I went with this, which has 54 milligrams of magnesium, 325 milligrams of chloride, 130 milligrams of sodium, which is actually extremely extremely good. But one thing I'm worried about is when I take a caffeine gel. Because caffeine and sodium don't work for me all the time. That's why I wish I was able to practice my long run nutrition inside of a long run. But as you know, I got injured. And I had to skimp on three weeks of running, which also means three long runs. And you might be wondering, how is my injury doing? Well, my injury is actually doing fine. But on that injury note, I also had another injury going on in my knee. In that area around my meniscus. And that was the same time around when I developed my glute injury. I just never talked about it because it wasn't as severe. My glute is doing a lot better, but my meniscus is, um, I guess, doing worse than it was. Or it's just progressing and it's causing me not to run it. My glute is, I could probably run on it. My meniscus and knee area, well, it's causing me not to run and it's sending me into panic mode. For one reason, I might not be able to race. And another, I have such a fear of a torn meniscus. But I'm just hoping for the best. As you saw, I was cross-training on the bike. That was my double for the bike uh, today to reach a two, out, two plus hours on the bike today. Out of those two plus hours, about 35 minutes was extremely, extremely hard, which was done this morning. But other than that, I just hope my injury is a lot better and I'm able to start running again and most of all, just race. If I'm not even able to 
I'll run all the way up to the race. At least I'm able to race. So I'm just hoping for the best. I'm praying for the best. And I, I just appreciate all the support y'all have given me throughout my injury and my brother's injury and the support y'all give to my channel. But back to the running Joes, I wish I was able to practice my running nutrition, but I, it's, it doesn't work like that. And I just decided to go all in and buy some more running gels, even though I can't really practice them. But I also bought some turbo gels. The reason I bought these turbo gels is because I had about, I was purchasing about $48 and I'm like, well, and it tells me if I go over to $50, I get free shipping and a free uh, recovery powder. So I'm like, well, I can get a way better deal plus some more gels on a Black Friday deal and not pay $8 for shipping, which is how much these six gels cost. And I get a free recovery powder. So I decided to go with these turbo gels, which is a cooling effect on your muscles, it says. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it has about 150 milligrams of caffeine in it plus menthol, which I'm not sure exactly what it does, but I'll put it on the screen right there of pretty much exactly what the turbo gels are supposed to go after. But what I'm pretty sure is they help delay soreness and lactic acid build up in your muscles so you can able to uh, go faster for a lot longer time. And it has 150 milligrams of caffeine in it. So definitely these two gels are really worth it for me. And then I also went with some, just some normal basic gels, the watermelon flavor. Cause I feel like if I have caffeine gels I also and sodium gels, I also need normal gels because I cannot take 700 plus milligrams of caffeine during a race, even 200 milligrams, because that can cause a lot of GI issues or just cause my heart rate to get extremely high to where I'm not even able to race. And pairing sodium with caffeine can be too much though. So just decided to go with the normal gels of the watermelon flavor and also buy a 30 pack. A 30 pack of these gels of cherry flavor. So I cannot wait to try. I almost want to just open one of these right now and try it and give you all a taste test. But I'm not going to do that because at the end they they're very expensive when they're not on Black Friday dough and they're running dough. So don't want to do that. I'll let y'all know how they are and how they work once I get to trying them and how they affect my stomach. So I have about 50 gels bought and purchased and they're not like your normal running gels that are like goos and other stuff. These are isotonic gels which have water in them. So typically when you take a gel you have to have water consumption help digest them not cause as much stomach discomfort if you can but with these gels they already have uh water in it because they're isotonic meaning you don't have to take water when you're taking the gel so a uh, benefit all the time because you're not able to have water all the time you have on the course and the reason i did these gels is because i'm used to morton i was loving morton i was using them every single long run a uh, long bike ride workout and i was loving them they're truly amazing they don't hurt my stomach there are isotonic gels as well, but Sis had an amazing Black Friday deal and they were much cheaper than Morton. So I decided to go with these and I just hope they work and I did not waste $60. But other than the gels, like I said, I got a free recovery power since I purchased over $50 and can't wait to try this either. I'll let y'all know how this stuff works when I get to trying that. But that is my rant about my injury and all these running products. But tomorrow it is Thanksgiving and my brother has a pumpkin pie cooking. So we're going to head over to the kitchen and go bake a pumpkin pie for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'll see y'all next time. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hands, two turtle doves and a partridge. Got the pumpkins in the oven. Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Day 
at Christmas my true love gave to me Six keys to lane, five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle ducks And a partridge in a pear tree On the seventh day of Christmas my true love gave to me Seven swans are swimming, six keys to lane, five golden rings Four calling birds, three Christmas, my true love gave to me Nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milk And seven swans swimming, six geese are laying Five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Ten lords will leave me, nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milk and seven swans are swimming, six keys are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, eleven... It's looking good. It's looking good. Who knows how it will taste because canned pumpkin is not pumpkin. It's squash. And we sadly, those pumpkins that you saw me cutting up yesterday, this pumpkin right here was a decoration pumpkin and does not make pumpkin pie. So we had to use canned pumpkin. Hopefully it turns out really, really good because one of the best desserts is pumpkin pie. It really is. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think is the best pumpkin pie? Five plus five means ten lords will be me Nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milk And seven swans are swimming, six geese are... Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know it came out though. Don't touch it. I want to eat it. It has to cool. Well then why is there stuff right here? Did you, did you eat it? No, I had to make yeah, sure it was cooked. Time. I'll eat it then. No, that's oh, not too bad. That's really good. Canned pumpkin, also known as my squash. Apparently. That's what I said. Squash. Squash in the. Uh, I, I wish you made one graham cracker one, but that's for the cherry, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, we could have used bear bites. We could have used bear bites, and I could have made graham cracker pumpkin pie. But actually, the graham cracker, I actually made a graham cracker crumble for the pie. It's in this little foil right here. And it's gonna be really, really good. I think, at least, I think. But we got a bunch of goodies. Like, okay, let me let me show y'all all the goodies. So we have yams for obviously sweet potato pie. We got rice no, no, dressing. Yams for yams. Yams are yams, dude. Or yams. With the marshmallows and stuff. Yeah. And then rice in that rice cooker for rice dressing. We got pancakes for right now, obviously. The healthy food. And then. This ground beef. What was in the oven was the pumpkin pie, but not anymore. Uh, Surf in the microwave. I, but I think. The healthy food right here. But I think that is it. I think that. No, we got turkey in the fridge, and then we got mac and cheese. Uh, we just got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, it's gonna be really, really good. Really, really good. Everybody, look at this. This is pumpkin pie. No, yeah, pumpkin pie cliff bars. But I, we actually made, I actually, no, he didn't. I actually made a real pumpkin pie. The first one was a disaster though. Well, that was a pumpkin's fault because I'm pretty sure we bought decoration pumpkins. We did, yeah. So we bought decoration pumpkins and the flesh, the skin, like I normally eat the skin. The skin was rock hard. The flesh was watery and not good. I knew there was something wrong with it. Like, don't get me wrong. They were real pumpkins, but like they were meant for like decoration, not some pie baking so it's actually like the next day since i reviewed my sis joe since actually thanksgiving day so happy thanksgiving i know this won't come out on thanksgiving yeah i think it's like coming out next saturday but like this pumpkin pie cliff bars are really really good you know what's better is pumpkin pie question of the day what is the best dessert on thanksgiving day what is the best dessert let me know is it pumpkin pie is it pecan pie is it apple pie is it cherry pie is it all kinds of pie i don't know there's so many desserts or sweet potato pie Mine is pumpkin pie. That's dessert. Yeah, but what goes on top is whipped cream. We know. We no, know. no, no. I no, not whipped no, cream. No, not whipped cream. Ice cream. Ice cream all the way. Every single pie has to be ice cream yeah. or cool whip. Mostly ice cream, especially apple pie. 
If you have like a homemade vanilla bean ice cream, oh my god. Just, just, I gotta stop talking about that because my mouth is watering over here for some apple pie. I was gonna make apple pie because I didn't want to use pumpkin which was canned pumpkin, but Red Delicious apples actually make, I looked it up there, it's not meant for apple pie, it makes like apple mush with pie crust, and I did not want to do that. And then we as, I really wish I could run or cycle or walk, because I want to open up my stomach a little bit so I can eat more food, because we know, us as runners, we can't wait for Thanksgiving, we can't wait for Christmas or whatever holiday that we get a bunch of food, we can't wait because we, we, we get a bunch of food and it's delicious and just, some days you just need days where you eat a lot of food, you know, you just need it. But we're going to get the question, not the question, the comment of the day right now, which is from Thomas Lee, which is also, he responded with the question of the day and he will get the comment of the day. What was the question of the day? I don't even know what the question of the day. I think the question of the day was. Is have you peaked too soon? That was the question of the day. Have you peaked yeah, too soon? Yeah, have you peaked too soon? And he responded question of the day. I don't really run, but I do cycle. I never really peaked early for a race, but definitely, but trying to crush my PB was not always successful because I always crash when I'm trying to PB for some reason. Yes. I mean, I have crashed on the bicycle twice, ran into a car, literally. My glycogen was so depleted, I was seeing double vision. Contacts were all messed up. Yes, I wear contacts if you had no idea. And my contact, and I slammed right into a vehicle because I thought it was going, but nope. So it was all my fault. The next crash, I think I lost focus or something. I was like, I don't know. I don't really, really remember. And this is actually could be why I'm having maybe repeatedly uh, repeated tendonitis if I do have tendonitis or gluteal, gluteal tendinopathy. Let's hope it is that. I would hate to have arthritis. Let's be for real. Like the best case scenario right now is tendinopathy, which is repeated tendonitis. Or it's tendinosius that's repeated tendonitis. All right, back but on. But yeah, peaking. Back, back on track. I actually crashed into a ditch and messed up my hip. I like remember that you said mm -hmm. you felt something off on <laughs> yeah. that run, and you like I, I, something happened. He got back home, and I was in the tub, just kind of washing off my bruises. Like it hurt. Like my mom had to literally help me out of the the tub, just get him. My endorphins literally brought me back home. And then as soon as I got home, it hit me. I was like. I'm but done. I'm, I'm done but back to peaking like peaking is such a serious thing especially in the longer distance races like car cross country yes you can peak too soon but it's just a 5k you're racing and it's, it's a big problem when you peak too soon but it especially happens in the half marathon marathon distance because you're training for so long and if typically you peak three weeks out before your actual race because your training block was so long. Happened to me, and you're ready to race three weeks before, but that's not your race. You're supposed to still feel pretty crappy in that long run, and then you start to taper and you're ready to race, you, you're peaked, and you just gotta learn how to peak for that actual race rather than in your training way too early. You just gotta find that line of how long your training block should actually be. But let's get into these pumpkin pie clip bars for a taste test and taste let us know down below if you tried the holiday flavors for the clip bars because i know we're a big fan of clip bars some of y'all out there watching us are not which i don't understand but my favorite pre-run few we're just going to give it a little taste for this by thanksgiving way, type of pie by the way this is regular rapid recovery what we had no idea what it was this is what it is this is regular rapid recovery literally i didn't know we were trying it well, yeah, why not? I mean, it's pumpkin pie, it's Thanksgiving. Why not try it? We're gonna let y'all know if it's better than actual pumpkin pie. I already can because tell you Because already, it's not gonna be. But I already had, I did have pumpkin pie today. My braces still hurt. I gotta say, it's like the best clip bar. One of the best clip bars. It's definitely the best holiday flavor. Which I still haven't tried the mm -hmm. newest holiday flavor, white chocolate cranberry. Yeah, me. But man. Very, very good. It's not as good as a pumpkin pie, but it's my healthy version of a pumpkin pie that I can eat before a pre-run without it hurting my stomach. But we'll see y'all in the next video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Thanksgiving video, but that's going to wrap it up. You can help support the channel on Venmo. Right here. I'll put it right on Matthew. <laughs> Boom. It's on Matthew now. All right, let's take it out. Boom. But you can help support the channel on Venmo. It really does help the channel. We split the money. We have been venmo before, and... It really goes to like camera equipment, like this one that I'm filming on right now. I'll put a video up right on Matthew, or right here. I don't know which camera angle it's facing essentially, 
And then, yeah, we're gonna end the vlog here. Make sure you seek happiness, achieve goals, and find glory. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace.